What's up guys? I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and you most likely landed on this video because you're in desperate need to cure your dog's itchy skin, hot spots, or hair loss. So if you watch my video on why do dogs lick and chew their paws, you would have learned that dogs most likely do this due to allergies, a disease called atopy, which causes itchiness in your dogs. <laughs> With atopic dermatitis, or atopy, the dog's immune system overreacts to things in the environment, bacteria or yeast on their own skin, to a flea bite, or dietary indiscretions. There are also breed-related genetic predispositions and diseases in dogs that make them more prone to allergies, itchy skin, and hair loss. And these dogs are tough to medically manage. They are not in any pain, but owners become very frustrated with their appearance. For example, some Maltese's and Chihuahuas have genetic hair thinning and alopecia, as well as Bulldogs who can get genetic flank alopecia, and there's not a lot we can do. All right, so let's get into a handful of things that I use to treat my patients with allergies and itchy skin that you guys can definitely do with your pets at home. So number one is baths. You wouldn't believe it, but baths are so important for your dog's skin. Just like us, removing that extra debris keeps their skin clean and free of bacteria and yeast, which they're having a hypersensitivity to. And that's what causes them to be so itchy. So bathing your pets three times a week if they're having skin allergies is super helpful. So I like using as a veterinarian chlorhexidine and ketoconazole, which are in these medicated shampoos, but you guys can pick up Head & Shoulders at any store, and that is a shampoo that we actually learned in vet school, which can be used on dogs to clean off their skin, and that'll help them with their allergies. Number two is gonna be allergy pills or an allergy shot that you can get for your dogs. If you don't have access to a vet right now and your dog is super itchy, you can use over-the-counter Benadryl, one mg per pound, and give that to your dog. However, a lot of pet owners say that Benadryl does nothing. So we have two strong pills. One is called Apoquil and the other one is called Atopica. And I'll go through what those ones do. So the first one and more commonly prescribed allergy pill for dogs is called Apoquil. The brand name is Oclacitinib. This pill works great and dogs can be on it seasonally or long term for over five years to alleviate their allergies. Apoquil may also be prescribed for short term situations such as flea allergies instead of using steroids to avoid the steroid side effects such as peeing in your house. The second pill is called Atopica with the brand name of Cyclosporin. Atopica is another immunomodulatory drug that has inhibitory effects on T lymphocytes by decreasing production of cytokines such as interleukin-2, which decreases skin inflammation and itchiness. Cyclosporin is a strong medication and is very effective at treating atopic dermatitis in dogs and is also used for dogs with other autoimmune diseases. With both Apoquil and Atopica, your veterinarian will recommend that your dog has routine blood work done to make sure their organs are handling these medications. And then there's an allergy injection that I love using called Cytopoint or Caddy, which controls their allergies for about four to eight weeks. Cytopoint or Loki Vetmab is a monoclonal antibody that specifically targets and neutralizes canine interleukin 31, an important cytokine involved in sending the itch signal to the brain in atopic dermatitis dogs. Cytopoint has minimal impact on normal immune functions and is eliminated via normal protein degradation with very little involvement of the liver and kidneys and usually does not require routine blood testing like the other two allergy pills I mentioned. Cytopoint starts having itch reducing effects for pets within 48 hours and it is so far studied to be a very safe drug for controlling atopy in dogs and I definitely recommend discussing this for your pets. Number three, you can't avoid this and it's gonna be a course of antibiotics. So dogs with hot spots or really itchy skin or bacterial infections, they're gonna need about a two to four week course of antibiotics to clear up the skin. If your dog has been on multiple courses of antibiotics, your veterinarian may ask to culture his or her paw pus or skin to rule out any antibiotic resistance. 
Number four is steroids. But now that veterinarians have access to those allergy pills and injections that I mentioned earlier, steroids are becoming last on their list to control itch and inflammation. Steroids are dangerous to use long-term and are hard on your dog's liver and body. Steroids are also strong immunosuppressives. So if your pet has a nasty bacterial or fungal infection, they may make it harder for your pet's immune system to fight off the infection. However, steroids are significantly cheaper and are safe to use along with antibiotics as a short course alternative to alleviating your pet's itchy skin and inflammation due to a hot spot or flea allergies. A fifth thing I like to add on is a short course of an anxiety medication so that your dog can relax and not constantly do self-traumatic damage to their skin. So a dog that's constantly licking and chewing at themselves can cause more harm to themselves while their antibiotics or allergy pills are trying to kick in. Also, don't be afraid to reach out to a veterinary dermatology specialist because they can handle these super hard cases. That's what they got their degree for. All right guys, so if this video helped you out with your pet who's having some itchy skin or hot spots, please put something in the comments below. I'd love to read it. And like always, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week.